welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at mini pods. You can get these on their website for about $65. They're a little bit pricey, but I'll throw the link in the description. So these both have Bluetooth 5.0. For instant pairing, they are compatible with iOS and Android. They have a 32 foot range, 24 hours with the case, 4 hours with the earbuds. They also have smart sensors like AirPods, when you take them out, they automatically stop. They also have custom naming and tracking. They also have wireless charging and pop-up animation. So taking a look at the AirPod minis, they are really small, first of all, obviously that's why they're minis. And supposedly they're half the size of regular AirPods. And so far, I'm gonna do a size comparison in a bit, but they are really small, like the smallest earbuds I've ever seen. And, uh, whoa, they even have the green LED, which is pretty cool. So first impressions is really good. It also comes with a wireless charging pad. So here it is. It's made out of plastic, but it doesn't feel hollow. It's definitely pretty stable. It has a USB-A to lightning charging cable. Look at the black pod minis. So here they are. They have a matte black finish instead of the glossy finish on this one and they look pretty nice very short stem here as well so they are pretty much one-to-one -one scale they even have the lettering right here so they're pretty much one-to-one -one scale they have the sensors speaker for bass speaker girl here little dot pretty much one-to-one -one scale for the regular airpods they're just different colored um and uh last time i had black pods the full size i really liked them so these ones should be pretty much the same and they even have the little green dots as well pretty cool one to one scale basically it's just no lettering on the back and of course they're half the size and then same thing on this one, you have the wireless charging pad, the charging cable. Let's go ahead and test the wireless charging. So this one works, it turns orange. Let's test out the white ones. This one works pretty much instantly, it turns orange. So wireless charging works really fast, basically it turns orange really quickly. And uh, yeah, so that's really cool. So this has the pop-up function when you pair them. So all you have to do is open it, press the back button. I go to syncing and there it goes. Now I do need a software update to be able to do that to via the limited edition, but it's basically the one to one to Apple and it'll basically connect and it says right there, white pods mini. All right, so they are connected now. Let's go ahead and test out the sound. Okay, so I just tested both of them out and let me put this in a really clear way of understanding. They're half the size, half the cost and half the sound of regular AirPods. They don't have um, as good bass or as clear sound, but you're paying half the price. So that's pretty much what it is. And it is smaller and it has, it has nice quality. Um, I still like them, but you know, they're not disappointing. They're not bad. They have good sound, clear sound, fast pairing, uh, GPS tracking, yeah. Siri activation, uh, long battery life, pretty much identical to the real ones. Oh, yeah, for the wireless charging pad, you can't use the regular cable. This cable is mainly to charge these earbuds. See, it's mainly to charge up the AirPods themselves rather than the wireless charger. As you can see, rather than the wireless charger. We need a authentic or a certified Apple cable to be able to use it. That's what I noticed, but other than that, they work perfectly fine. So even if you put it sideways, which is pretty interesting, the wireless charging still works. Now we're gonna do a size comparison of real AirPods versus these. All right, so for size comparison, here are all the cases next to each other. Um, these are the regular AirPods versus the mini pods. They are basically half the size. I don't have like an exact estimate, but pretty much half the size. It's basically this bottom part, this bottom part without the lid with the AirPods is basically the size. And here are some of the earbuds for comparison. So as you can see, they're very, very small in size. They're pretty similar to the A1s. The A1s have a little bit bigger um, part up here, but they have a shorter stem. 
are way smaller than regular AirPods. You can see, the stem is literally half the size. It's pretty much similar to AirPod Pros, them too, but as you can see, they're literally half the size. So that's really cool. These are the authentic AirPods and these are the mini pods. In about three months, I'll be doing a follow-up video of these earbuds and I'll be showing you everything else that compared to the rest of my collection. This isn't the full collection, but you'll see it. So this is my final thoughts and review of the mini pods. So they are half the size, half the sound, half the price, and you're getting basically all the specs that you would normally get from AirPods. Which in my opinion is a really good deal, so if you're looking for AirPods but you don't want to spend that $120, $150 price tag, definitely check some of these out. I'll leave a link in the description. Now the difference between the glossy and the matte black mini pods is that the matte black actually sit in your ear a lot easier. Um, due to the texture and it's, so it's easier to be in your ear so I personally like these ones but I like both of them equally I like this one because it pretty much looks so much identical to the original airpods um, now these ones are obviously a little bit faded because I've had them a lot longer and these ones are a lot wider because they're newer but anyways other than that these are pretty cool um, I'm going to be testing them out for a little bit longer especially the battery life and if they last a long time so in about three months, if you see a following up video, go check that out. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.